And elections have concluded in South Korea too. The country has a new president now. His name is Yoon Suk Yol, a former public attorney and a political newcomer with conservative political views. Mr. Yoon is a self-proclaimed anti-feminist. He wants to abolish South Korea's Ministry for, of Gender Equality. He is also said to be hawkish on foreign policy. He plans to adopt a tougher line against North Korea. He wants to counter China's growing influence in the region. Here's a report on what this election result means for South Korea. From being picked in a claw machine to participating in the Winter Olympics. South Korean media pulled out all the stops to depict their presidential candidates. It was an election like no other, with candidates relying on a host of digital tools to campaign. From AI-generated clones to virtual reality platforms, South Korea saw it all. The winner too is a tech-savvy gentleman, Yoon suk Yeol. He's been elected the new president of South Korea. A conservative at heart and a political novice, not many expected Mr. Yoon to win, especially not given his political views. He is a self-proclaimed anti-feminist. He's more hawkish on foreign policy and he wants to be tougher on North Korea. All of this made Yoon an unpopular choice. Much like his rival, Lee Jae-myung, of the ruling Democratic Party. They were both seen as unlikely frontrunners. In fact, voters appeared so disenchanted that this poll was dubbed an election of the unfavorables. The results said the same. Yoon secured 48.6% of the vote. Lee got 47.8%, a difference of just 1%. The closest result in South Korean history. Not for Yoon suk Yeol. he is calling his win a victory of the people. I think this is a victory of the great people. Our competition is over for now. We have to join hands and unite into one for the people and the Republic of Korea. I am deeply grateful to all of you and the people who led a beginner to this point. 60-year-old Hyun is a newcomer to politics. He started his career just last year. Before that, he had been a public prosecutor for 27 years, a job where he even convicted a former president. Park Jeon Hyer, who was charged with abuse of power in 2017. The conviction made Yoon rise to prominence. He began to be viewed as a presidential candidate. Opinion polls declared him people's favorite. In June 2021, he announced his run for presidency, relying solely on the support of conservatives. He was compared with Donald Trump, another outsider who became president. Yoon's policies only promoted this comparison. He actively courted votes among anti-feminists, promised to raise penalties for falsely reporting sex crimes, vowed to abolish South Korea's Ministry of Gender Equality, and blamed low birth rates on the rise of the feminist movement. Yoon also promised to not ease sanctions on North Korea. Tilt Seoul's foreign policy away from China to US cooperate more with the Quad Security Alliance and raise the threshold for paying capital gains tax on earnings from Bitcoin. These conservative views and policies seem to have worked in Yoon's favor. They also show how bitterly divided South Korean politics has become. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.